Scientists are starting to rethink what they thought they knew about the universe, thanks to the latest discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope. In its new images of the farthest regions of space, Webb has revealed things that current theories simply cannot explain. For the first time, scientists may have found signs of an entirely new kind of black hole, something that challenges the traditional Big Bang model. Webb has also uncovered record-breaking distant galaxies that look far stranger than expected, leaving experts puzzled. On top of that, the telescope has spotted many mysterious objects in huge numbers, but no one really knows what they are. Even more surprising, some of these discoveries suggest that our universe could be part of something much bigger and stranger than we ever imagined. So, let's explore what scientists have actually discovered, and how these findings suggest that something may exist beyond our universe. The universe is far stranger than we can imagine. In fact, most of it is fading beyond our reach forever. We live inside what scientists call the observable universe. Think of it as a cosmic bubble around us. This bubble isn't the whole universe, it's just the part we can actually see. No matter how powerful our telescopes become, we will never be able to look beyond this boundary. You may ask, why so? Well, it's because the universe is expanding. Space itself is stretching. Almost all galaxies are moving away from us. And not just that, the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it seems to be moving away. And as the space farther away from us expands faster, the objects there move away from us at speeds greater than the speed of light due to this accelerated expansion. The most distant regions of space are receding even faster relative to us. It's not that galaxies themselves are breaking the laws of physics. Instead, it's space that's expanding so quickly that light from those regions can never reach us. So we will never know what lies beyond that horizon. To address this problem, scientists assume that the universe is homogeneous and isotropic, meaning it appears the same in every direction and at every location, at least on very large scales. This assumption makes it easier to picture the universe stretching infinitely in all directions, looking the same even beyond the limits of what we can observe. But some recent hints from the James Webb Space Telescope have raised questions. The data suggests the universe might not be perfectly uniform after all. If that's true, then what exists beyond our observable universe could be very different from what we see around us. And scientists believe that everything in our universe, both what we see and what lies beyond, was once squeezed into an unimaginably tiny, dense state, often called the Big Bang Singularity. But don't imagine it as a dot floating in empty space, because space itself didn't exist yet. The term singularity is simply a label for a state we cannot yet fully understand or describe. No one knows where it came from or what, if anything, existed before it. The Big Bang model suggests that about 13.8 billion years ago, the universe began from this initial singularity that expanded extremely rapidly. But unlike an explosion from a central point, this expansion happened everywhere at once. There's no center and no edge to it. To explain how the universe expanded so quickly and became smooth and uniform, scientists propose something called inflation, a theory that suggests the universe expanded extremely fast in its very first moments. To account for why the expansion is still accelerating even today, scientists introduce the idea of dark energy, a mysterious force that seems to push space apart. This idea has been part of the standard cosmological model for years. The Big Bang Theory has since become the foundation of modern cosmology, guiding scientists in unraveling the history of the universe. But there are many problems with the Big Bang model, and the discoveries from the James Webb Space Telescope have been challenging this model in recent years. But now, things have become even more puzzling. Recently, Webb found a new kind of black hole in the early universe that defies explanation. Some scientists are beginning to suggest that the Big Bang might not be the full story. 
In a new study, an international team led by astrophysicist Ignis Juodzbalas from the University of Cambridge measured the mass of one of the mysterious little red dots detected by Webb. They discovered that this glowing object named QS01 is actually a black hole with a mass equal to 50 million suns. But they found something really odd in this black hole. The material surrounding this black hole is very small compared to the black hole's huge mass. This means that it was not formed in a normal way, such as by the collapse of stars. Instead, it seems to be a completely different kind of black hole. Scientists call these primordial black holes, which are thought to have formed in the very first moments after the Big Bang. If that's true, it could mean black holes existed first and galaxies later grew around them. But the big question remains, how did these primordial black holes form in the first place? The standard Big Bang model doesn't provide a clear answer. Moreover, the discovery of primordial black holes could be a game-changer for cosmology. Scientists believe these black holes might help answer some of the biggest questions about the origin of the universe, questions that the Big Bang model failed to explain. Scientists say that our universe existed before the Big Bang, and this could explain how dark matter came into existence. A recent study published in the Journal of Cosmology and Astroparticle Physics proposed that the universe may have had a secret life prior to the Big Bang. The research suggests that before the Big Bang, the universe went through a phase where it first contracted and then expanded. Imagine it like the universe shrinking down to an incredibly small, dense state, almost like compressing a spring. Then, just like a spring bouncing back, the universe bounced from this dense state and began expanding again, leading to the Big Bang and the universe we know today. During this phase of contraction, small differences in the density of space could have created tiny black holes. These early black holes, known as primordial black holes, may have survived the bounce and continued to exist as the universe expanded. Some scientists now think that these ancient black holes could be what we call dark matter. This theory tells us that our universe has a secret past before the Big Bang. But wait, recently the Webb telescope discovered something else that surprised everyone. Webb has also discovered galaxies at record-breaking distances, and these galaxies are so unusual that existing theories are having a hard time explaining how they formed. On top of that, many strange and unknown objects have been spotted in the early universe, leaving scientists wondering what they really are. A few days ago, the James Webb Space Telescope made its deepest look yet into the early universe and discovered something no one expected. In the past, Webb has already spotted some of the most distant galaxies ever seen, but this time it went even further. Scientists found six galaxies at a redshift of 17 and three more at a redshift of 25, pushing the limits of what we thought was possible. Well, amid the discovery of ancient galaxies and massive black holes, astronomers have stumbled upon something even stranger, a mysterious type of bright object from the early universe. You are already familiar with these. They are nicknamed little red dots. At first, scientists assumed they were simply small, compact galaxies. But follow-up observations shattered that idea. These are not galaxies at all. They're something entirely different, something we've never seen before. A bold new theory suggests these enigmatic objects could be black hole stars. And no, they're not ordinary stars, nor are they black holes. Instead, they are a bizarre hybrid, a short-lived cosmic phenomenon theorized to exist only in the earliest ages of the universe. A black hole star forms when an enormous star collapses under its own gravity. But instead of immediately becoming a black hole, the black hole forms at its core while the rest of the star remains intact around it. If these little red dots are truly black hole stars, it would mean we are looking at an incredibly rare stage of cosmic evolution. In addition to this, a few days ago, the Webb telescope made a surprising discovery. 
it observed the rotation of galaxies from the very early universe and found that most of them were spinning in the same direction. Scientists still don't have a clear answer for why this is happening. Some suggest that these galaxies must have had an initial rotation right from the time they were formed. But if that's true, it points to something even bigger. The entire universe itself might have had a rotation from the very beginning. Interestingly, few years ago, some scientists have suggested that the cold spot seen in the cosmic microwave background might be linked to a possible rotation of the universe. And now, new hints from the Webb telescope also suggest that the universe could be spinning. However, scientists point out that if the universe does have a rotation, it may not be as simple as a planet or a star spinning around a single axis. Instead, the rotation could be more complex, with multiple directions or a multipole structure rather than just one clear axis. On the other hand, some scientists believe that our universe is actually inside a rotating black hole. Well, all these discoveries, the evidence of primordial black holes, massive early galaxies, strange new objects in the young universe, and even hints that our universe might be spinning, strongly suggest that the Big Bang may not have been the absolute beginning of everything. It raises the possibility that the universe has a hidden past before the Big Bang, or that another universe existed before ours, with our universe being just one part of a larger structure. Even Nobel Prize winner Professor Roger Penrose believes the Big Bang was not the true beginning. He has offered a brilliant explanation of how the universe could exist beyond the Big Bang. To explain what he meant, he gave an interesting example, in which he mentioned a famous painting of angels and devils created by Dutch artist M.C. Escher. So what you can do is you can represent infinity in this picture. That's a very nice re representation. You're representing infinity, but at a finite distance. Yes, that's right. So you can make it in the picture as a finite distance. But as far as the devils and the angels themselves are concerned, they keep on going forever. And this is a, a geometry known as hyperbolic geometry. It's a very nice representation of infinity. I'm taking that picture as important in thinking about space-time is that the Big Bang was like one of those Escher boundaries. But it's nice and smooth, and you can imagine that you could continue this universe to outside that region. So even though the Escher picture ends with this circular boundary, you could still imagine that the space-time continues out beyond that. So you could step outside it. He suggests that our universe is just one in a series of cosmic cycles where each cycle or aeon ends in a kind of stretched out emptiness and gives birth to the next. In this view, other universes existed before ours and more could follow after. All these discoveries and new theories are incredibly exciting and they might just be the beginning. Hopefully, in the future, the James Webb Space Telescope will continue to reveal even more clues about the true nature of the universe and how it all began. That's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed the journey. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you think about these mind-blowing discoveries. If you enjoyed the video and want to support our work, you can do so by clicking Super Thanks or by grabbing one of our awesome t-shirts from our merch store. Thanks so much for watching, and a huge thank you to our channel members for your continued support. See you in the next video.